wishes do come true. It's a building where children make a wish and then the magic happens. Candy Brown is live to explain. So there are only six of these in the entire country, and we are lucky enough to have one. It's coming up on its 10th anniversary of being here, and I've never seen this before, so I thought, oh my gosh, I'm so excited to be able to see this. You know, we love covering everything that Make-A-Wish does because they have such an impact on kids in our area. So then your kids come here, and you take them inside this room, which we're going to go in, yeah. and then how does this work? Because some kids have an idea ahead of time what they want to do, and other kids don't really have any clue and so this really helps them. That's right. This is a really magical room. We call it the wishing room and they can wish in four different categories. And you can see them can be right here on the wall. I wish to be, I wish to meet, I wish to have, I wish to go. And this helps them kind of think about what is that magical life changing wish that they can and they go to these boards right here and they write down and brainstorm and think about all the things they could be, meet, have and go. Now how did we get to have this here when there's only six in the country? Why? Why did, were we one of the, the places that gets this? Yeah, Make-A-Wish started almost 40 years ago here, but 10 years ago, a number of people in the community came together and said, we need one of these magical buildings. They saw one in Utah, and the Wynn family actually donated the land. And Frank Ramos, a local businessman, said, hey, let's do this. What if, if we didn't have something like this, how does that work with the kids? You maybe go to their house to help them decide, or what, instead of coming here, what would they do? They would go to their, their house, go to the hospital, um, they meet them somewhere, but it's just not as magical as when you can come here and really explore your wishes in this way. Yeah, because there is some magic after they write down the four, then they get to go in here, and you see there the wishing well. And what happens once they come in here? Once they've narrowed it down to four wishes, in each, one in each category, they come into this magical room and they drop their wish into the wishing well. And this is where we make their promise that one of those wishes will come true. And at that point, they don't know which of the four wishes that, you, that you're going to make come true. And then you guys all get together and try and get with everybody that partners with you guys to see what is doable out of those four, right? And then they get surprised. That's right, because we want to find out their heartfelt wish. And by the time they go through this process, we can pretty much figure out what it is but the anticipation of the wish is what really matters and so I didn't even know that they didn't know a hundred percent it's like one out of four but when they're going through this you could probably see them light up about something and so that's the one that you say okay we're gonna make this one happen right you can see the excitement like our garbage man wish oh I wish gosh. to be a garbage man meet a garbage man and have my own garbage truck I said okay it's all about garbage <laughs> yeah oh my gosh that was such a such a fun one to be able to be there for okay coming up uh, we're gonna go through the process guys so I need you to be thinking of who you wish to be, who you wish to meet, who you wish to have, and where you wish to go. Oh, oh okay. okay. All right. All right. We'll be thinking about that. Thanks, Canby. In fact, that's all I can think about now. <laughs>